Hey everyone, I'm Alex from Open4. I'm a Solidity senior engineer in the company. Today in this video, I want to introduce you the new EAP 7702. Uh, this EAP will be included in the next upgrade of the Ethereum Pectra this week. So we will talk about the basics of the EAP, why use it. Then we will talk about integration of 772 with the infrastructure of 4337 abstraction account. Then we will do some technical deep dive about 772, Pectra upgrade overview, and I will drop some use cases of 772. So let's start. All right, so before we are diving into 7702, I want to do a quick overview about existing account that we are have in Ethereum. So basically every account have some state fields. It's nonce balance, storage hash and code hash. So nonce, it's a number that's used only once. It's to prevent replay attacks and every transaction that was executing, this number increasing. Balance, it's displaying the balance of the native tokens. Storage hash, it's basically a hash of the storage that account have and code hash it's a hash of the uh, bytecode that attached to this account. Right now before the upgrade on the Ethereum we have two types of accounts one of them it's external owned account managing by private key the second is the smart contract managing with bytecode. So before we was talking about state fields of the account you can see here the difference between two of the accounts so basically in EOA code hash is empty storage hash also empty but in the smart contracts we have code hash of the byte code so in the storage hash we have the hash of the root node after upgrade it will give us possibility to upgrade our EOAs means that we can attach a code to the account basically in the state field of the code hash will be hash of the bytecode also we will have a storage like a smart account so basically our EOAs can acting as a smart contracts in the official paper we can find exactly what means 7702 so basically it's also a new type of the transaction that we can upgrade our EOAs to the smart accounts one of the parameters is authorization list that includes chain ID and the address of exist contract that we want to attach the code to our EOAs so basically this type of the transaction we need to send to the blockchain to upgrade our EOAs to be a smart contracts. Let's see how exactly to do that, how to set code to our EOAs. So basically we need to send the transaction type 4. So we need to define this parameter of authorization list with chain ID and the address of exist smart contract and the code that we would like to attach to our EOAs so we can set up many uh, authorizations then we are defining which chain it's going to be and the address of the contract on this chain so basically every chain we can attach uh, different contracts or different logic and that have the smart contract so basically each chain that's contract deployed and have a solidity code and functionality we can attach to our EOA and our EOA can execute this code that existing in the different blockchains if we want to attach on every chain so we just can set up in chain id 0 and the address so you can read more in the official paper of the EAP how to do that so basically this is the way how we are attaching a code to our EOAs at this moment it sounds confusing but 
let's take a look on the transaction life cycle and maybe it will clarify some stuff so basically um, after upgrade we are executing a regular type of the transaction type 0 or type 2 with call data exactly for the functionality and the code that we are attached to our EOA so for example it could be let's say to send some tokens to other address or execute any transaction like swap or mint NFT so we are sending this call data to our address so basically the address of the external owned account with this call data and we have to know that in the functionality of the smart contract we have the possibility to execute exactly the function that we want it could be any function it could be any code uh, that's attached to the uh, our EOA so basically we are sending the transaction it's going to the code hash uh, see what the selector of the function we are calling then if we are needs to access to the storage so we have the storage hash and if we need to change states or a storage variable so we also doing by executing the code of the smart contract that we are attached to our EOA so basically why we need this CAP so this CAP give us possibility to attach any type of code that existing in the blockchain and we can borrow this functionality and using with our EOAs also it's give us possibility to have a storage so basically right now our accounts have a storage and code so we can store in our EOAs a different type of information as we was using for example a smart contracts to store a different type of um, variables or information that we want and also executing any logic or any functionality so basically our EOAs also can be a smart contracts and have this functionality Many times I seen in the social media different tweets or posts about that why we need 4337 if we will have 7702 or if 7702 gonna change 4337 so basically it's not gonna change it's gonna work together so we still need the infrastructure of the 4337 like paymasters and entry point or bundlers so basically in this diagram i will show you exactly how 7702 will work together with 4337 so basically we have our eoa that we are already attached the code and the designator code to the account so we are creating the user operation struct important thing in the sender we need to define our smart eoa address and in init code we need to put this decorator so basically because the, we don't need to initialize any account as before that this field was for the creating the smart account wallet so right now we don't need to deploy any smart account in the blockchain we just putting this decorator and the other fields is the same right now then we are transferring all this pack to bundler relay or different toa that will execute the transaction on behalf of our account then we are sending this pack to the entry point and the entry point mm, gonna be calling into the our address and execute the logic that we are have so basically all the infrastructure of 4337 gonna work and execute the code that we are attached to our EOA I prepare a small demo that gonna demonstrate exactly how we are attaching a code to our EOAs and also we can see the difference right now before the upgrade between the smart contract and the EOA 
so basically right now in our EOA not set up any code so in the state field of the code hash we have empty string and in the smart contract we can see that attached a full byte code that have a functionality and logic to execute I prepare a script that's gonna execute at the transaction of attaching code to our EOA transaction type 4 so basically we are taking implementation contract that already deployed and we are attaching to this functionality to our EOA okay let's make sure that they have enough ethereum on sepolia so we're going to execute the transaction on sepolia so yes i have enough eth so let's run the script all right so we got a confirmation that the transaction was executed so let's see right now if we have um, any attachment in the field of the code hash So right now we can see that to our account EOA attached a code of implementation existing smart contract in the Sepolia. So we can take this address and to see exactly what the code um, have the smart contract. So you can see right now we have some prefix that describing that exactly we did the upgrade of our EOA and which designator the address of the contract we took the functionality and attached to our account so what means this prefix it's EF and um, 0100 you can check on the EAP and official paper exactly what it says so it's the delegation indicator just to uh, explain or show that we did the upgrade for our eoa and right now he can be um, with the functionality of smart contract and execute a logic that we the code we are attached so let's wrap up so we know that for upgrade our account to be a smart contract we need to send a new type of the transaction type 4 with authorization list that define in which chain and which deployed smart contract a code we want to borrow and attach to our contract we understanding the full cycle of the executing transaction after the upgrade and also we can see that 7702 gonna work together with 4337 and executing transaction with current infrastructure of abstraction account and also i wanted to show you how exactly the transaction looks in the scanner so we can see it's um self-execution so basically we are sending um, this transaction to our address so and you can see here that the type of the transaction is for uh, EIP7702 so basically we are this is the way how we are upgrading and this is how it looks uh, in the scanner um, this type of the transaction of 7702 this week gonna happen the upgrade of the ethereum Pectra on 7 of may so basically one of the EAPs included it's 7702 that we are did full overview about this EAP so basically we know that this week it's going to happen on mainnet right now um, this EAP live on Holesky and Sepolia network so you can play around and see what you can do um, with this EAP and, and upgrade your accounts just for testings. In the next video, we will talk about Open4 Delegator for EAP7702. So basically, we will do a full overview of Solidity contract that I was working past two months that 
we have all these integrations and modules in our smart contract that it means that our EOA can execute and have all this functionality. So see you in the next video and goodbye.